Mi amici, oggi stiamo rivedendo il Pannerai 8 giorni GMT. Siena è pronta? Ma mamma, non mi disturbe, sto facendo qualcosa, ok? Fact, if you bought a pre-owned Panerai and it has all the box and papers, matching series and clear records, there are 90% chances that the watch is genuine, not 100%. Panerai is not a wristwatch, it does not fit the genre, Panerai is simply the type, Panerai. Because a wristwatch has a specific shape or a purpose, it is meant to be comfortable and exactly tell the time, and across years these standards were set. Some rules that define these mechanical objects as wrist wearables named wristwatches. Now Panerai or Panerai is different, it's a different time teller. And accuracy wise, when you look at a Panerai dial, you should know that it's around 3 pm or afternoon, or it's kind of the time to go home after a few drinks. And in reality, a Panerai is worn as a wrist mechanical object with the purpose to impress through size and looks. A combo of metal and leather that it meant to be observed, to be easily recognizable, period. And on Panerai's, it's all about what you show. That is specific for Latins or for Italians. In fact, it's not even about what you wear, it's about how you wear it. It's what Italians call staccare, which means to detach or remove. It's used in architecture, where you might combine something historic with something ultra contemporary. In watches, it's not just about the watch, but having the courage to wear it in a bold and an unconventional way. Having a tool on a strap it shouldn't be on, or turning watches that were considered ugly into a statement. And all of a sudden you're showing your inventiveness, your creativity. Italians love that. And Gianni Agnelli was the ultimate example. Ma certo che staccare! Design-wise, when you see a Panerai, you don't need to put a logo on it, you'll know what it is. And this is the value of the brand in my opinion. Firstly, I do appreciate the Italian design. I am an artist, a designer and I'm coming from a family of sculptures in marble. So for us, the simple mix of volumes and the light play matters the most in sculpture. However, allow me to tell you what's my biggest upset with Panerai and why I tried so many times to grab one, but every time I gave up on the idea. As an enthusiast, I had the chance to wear for a couple of days a Marina Militare Radiomir in 47mm. Big, big watch, good looking, definitely. Was putting to shape my Explorer 2 through size, through its majestic but simple appearance. And since then in my mind started to grow the idea that I want a pen ride. And I started to research days, weeks, months and the result was in the end zero. Why? Well, because you can find three types of pre-owned Panerais. For around three to five thousand dollars, you can find 10 to 20 years old pumps. They provide, in essence, basic unitas movements with sandwich dials and see-through casebacks. Fine, but if you're lucky to find an original one, however, would you spend four to five thousand dollars on a 15 years old watch, being confident of its authenticity and the ability from the movement and the ceilings perspective? Well, I totally dropped the idea, even though to have an Unitas on a see-through case back wasn't that bad from the service point of view. Mi avici per favore subscribe al canale Brave Beaters per futuri episodi. Brave Beaters needs a subscriber, se? Eh? So the base models provides the iconic shape with 3 days power reserve and an in-house movement. The same small or no small second hand dial, but with printed numerals, no sandwich and flat sapphire crystal. With solid case bags without the preview of the in-house 3 or 8 days mechanisms. Are they Panerais? Of course they are, but the A-Class of Mercedes. So would you buy an A-Class Mercedes or save for a C or E, even an S-Class pre-owned, just to say I have a Mercedes? And then there is the normal or the complete Panerai line, with clean and cool designs, complications, tons of power reserve and see-through case bags. 
boxed sapphire and hesalite crystals, straps with Panerai engraved logo, beautiful colored dials with big sandwich loomed numerals for the prices up to 7000, 9000, 12,000 plus. So I don't know about you, but I am not such a big fan of Panerai to spend 7000 euros plus on a Panerai as it should be. But I'm curious, would you? So to conclude, the first one was too old and expensive. The base one is maybe too cheap to be a Panerai and the regular 7000 euros plus is too expensive even for a Panerai enthusiast. And to share a little secret with you, I am a big fan of the Radio Mir platform, even though the Luminor platform is the icon of Panerai as a contradiction to their history. Because history wise, the first Panerai that equipped the Italian Royal Navy in 1935 was the Radio Mir 2533. Purpose-wise, being a diver with luminous markers, ensured by the extremely radioactive glow-in-the-dark radium paint. And the iconic protective crown was firstly implemented in the Radiomir for the Egyptian Navy in 1956. The Radiomir becoming the base of the reference point for two important pieces for the brand, the Luminor and the Submersible. And finally, in the 60s, the luminescence of the Panerais come from a new low-radiation tritium-based compound, which takes the name Luminor and the rest is history. The Italians started to care about fashion rather than military, and Panerai slowly becomes a symbol of style and fashion with less important military roots. And that is a fact. Now that I'm relieved from my upset, we can follow our normal schedule and look at this Panerai Luminor GMT in 45mm. So this Panerai arrived on a special delivery for me on a beautiful leather pouch from 7 friends and watches, a cool way to keep the watch out of scratches while traveling. And inside we have a beautiful Panerai 1950-00233, a beautiful Luminor with a GMT complication and it comes on a beautiful padded leather strap especially made for Panerai, having a 24mm slug width with a 22mm taper to the buckle. So the patina strap also the pouch is available on the 7 friends and watches store, the new store because they completely redesigned the website for a better experience for the user. Because it's easier to browse through collections and buy safely a watch strap from the brand via PayPal or a credit card. 7 friends and watches, new website, link in the description and you have 10% with the Brave Beaters coupon code. So this watch had a price list of $12,300 at some point. The actual version has a power reserve of 10 days but automatic, looks mainly the same and it costs $13,700. However, I can say that this one is one of my favorite designs except for the date window, because I would have loved the 3 o'clock numeral. Firstly, you will notice the robustness of the case, typical for a Panerai, but this time the robustness is amplified by the beautiful boxed sapphire that produces the amazing distortion and you can spot across the video how beautiful distorts the numerals and the hands. Another impressive feature is the battery display, a power reserve display that looks like a battery. Some details that I enjoy a lot. I love the creativity of the designers from Firenze. FYI, the Panerais are reiterated, designed and improved in Firenze and then the physical assembly is happening in Neuchâtel in Switzerland. So the general specifications of this old, new, expensive and complete Panerai Luminor GMT 1950 are the following. This is a 44mm 350L stainless steel case, a robust case with a boxed sapphire and a classic 24mm lug width. Inside we have an in-house hand-wound mechanical P2002 caliber with small seconds, date, GMT, 24 indicator, power reserve indicator, seconds and reset complications. The dial is impressive and yes it truly respects the definition of a complete Panerai or a high-end Panerai. 8 days, sandwich dial, sapphire case back with a manual wind, domed sapphire crystal, power reserve indicator and a dual GMT complication. And the ceilings of this big boy ensuring around 100 meters wall resistance, however being so old I'm not sure how reliable it is. And I'm not a big fan of over complicated dials, but this one was tastefully well made by the brand. They muted some hands with the purpose to remain faithful to the original and the simple Panerai designs. I love the charged loom sandwich and also the fact that they still last very well. And as for how it wears, well, if you like the Panerai concept, you will know that the platform does not wear small on the wrist. As I said in the intro of the video, a Panerai needs to wear big, whether we're talking about a 47mm case or a 44mm case, even a 42. 
I had the chance to wear the 44 and the 47mm models and I have to admit I loved how the 47mm watch covered the wrist, putting to shame the regular wrist watches through simplicity, color and size. And please do not forget about the other Panerai, the French Panerai, the design challenge where we redesigned together the ZR6 Grand phones and we sent it to the manufacturer to see how they react. The link is in the description. So to conclude, if it's not big, it's not Panerai. If it does not have a sandwich dial, it's not a Panerai. If it's not a manual wine, it's not a Panerai. And if it's made in China, definitely it's not a Panerai. But it's hard to tell. So, you know, Panerai was potentially the most accurate cloned brand because it was hyped before Rolex. And because the Unitas movement wasn't a complex mechanism for the Chinese to replicate even to install a genuine one. And yes, there were times when Panerai was today's Rolex, a brand sold out, but with the passing of time, the trend was sold out as well. The definition of status is not called Panerai anymore, and I don't see a logical reason why a nearly new Panerai would keep its value retention for a long period. For me, that is a solid reason why I shouldn't spend a big amount of money on an older version, because value-wise, I feel like they're decreasing. But what do you think about this piece and what do you think about the brand Panerai in general? Please let me know in the comment section. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future updates. And until next time, be brave but stay safe.